So where are we going by plant Riverside? The uh, plant Riverside was actually a coal uh, power plant that was built in 1912. Kind of used to power up the street lights, street cars, trolleys, things of that nature downtown here in Savannah. It was turned into an electric power plant a few years later. Pretty much kind of went out of business. Uh, the whole location moved further inland to another location. The building's actually sat here vacant for uh, quite some time until a developer just came in a few years ago and said, why not put a nice luxury hotel right here on this uh, nice piece of real estate along the Savannah River. So that's exactly a couple pretty cool uh, rooftop bars as well, one called the Electric Moon. Actually has slides that goes from one floor to the other, so if you're like me and you like to mix your alcohol and playground equipment together, it's kind of a fun place to spend a few hours in the evening. For those of you ship enthusiasts, we're passing this uh, inbound, I believe that's a tanker, probably moving some sort of petroleum product here. Uh, he is heading up river right now. He's got a couple of tugboats there to kind of assist him uh, just making his way up and down the river. Just that's kind of more of a precaution for that type of ship. They don't really need that tug to necessarily navigate, but they're there just in case that ship was to lose power. We definitely do not want to have a big oil spill here in the Savannah River. So those usually have a tugboat there to kind of escort these uh, tankers just in case they happen to lose power, lose their steering or something. All right, uh, kind of focus your attention back to the starboard side. You'll notice some of these older looking buildings coming into view. That one with the green shutters, it's kind of a good example. Those buildings are actually made of ballast stones. Now, ballast stones were not native to Georgia. They came from places like Africa and England. Basically, what a ballast stone was, that was weight in the bottom of the ship. Uh, these ships would uh, need that kind of for stability as they cross the ocean. And then they would arrive here and take that cargo, leave those ballast stones onto the shoreline or onto the docks. Uh, people here kind of discovered those ballast stones actually make great building materials, so that's exactly what these buildings were made out of, as well as that cobblestone walk that you probably kind of rolled your ankle on a time or two as you crossed the street this afternoon. Now that globe that is split in half, that's called a world apart. That's in honor of uh, 527 World War II veterans here in Chatham County, some of the surrounding areas that sacrificed their lives in that war. Uh, 527 of those names are kind of inscribed around that monument. Now the High Regency, obviously not a historic building, but this does sit on a historic location. That's where James W. Oglethorpe arrived in 1733 to found Georgia as well as Savannah. Now in Awesome.